just a little more, dear. <coughs> Got it. <laughs> See, hon? I told you I could do it. powering neuratomic protocore in my possession, I will make the world mine! <laughs> One hand at neuratomic protocore, Manda! Who said that? I did! Dexter! Blast you, Dexter! Hey, now there's an idea. Blast Dexter. Yes. As I live, you will never possess the Neurotomic Protocol. I swear it. And I swear, Dexter, for as long as I shall live, I will one day possess the Neurotomic Protocol and rule the world. I swear it. Phew. Now that that is taken care of, I can get back to work. Woman, I have no time for you today. Much too much has happened, so I bid you adieu. Goodbye, sister. You know the exit is this way. Goodbye. me in my lab, even if they are from the future. Futuristic robots, prepare to meet your maker!
just easy. <clears throat> Not dumb robots from their future can destroy this load, genius. But the boy, oh boy! I must be something else for somebody to go through all of this trouble. Boy, oh boy. Dexter! The boy who saved the future! Oh, I can't wait for the future. The future is taking too long. Wait a second. Oh, I don't have to wait for the future. I'll just get into my old trusted time machine and zap, boom, pop. I'll get to see how cool I am. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Future, here I come. <laughs> Very peculiar. The lab seems untouched. Rip, I have traveled the years into the future. Is there nothing different? <laughs> this is different. Oh, aliens! Hey, what are you non aliens doing in my laboratory? Your laboratory? This is our rec room. Who are you? What are you doing here? What's your number? I do not have a number. I am Dexter, the one who saved the future. And I live here. No number, huh? Come with me. It is a sad, sad world when the no numbers can just waltz on in onto private property with no trouble at all. I hope you like jail, Mr. No Number. Officer 9412 here. How can I be of assistance? I have here. A no number. We're on our way. Let's get him, boys. Dexter, oh boy, sometimes it is just too easy. Closet? This is supposed to be the front door. Stop where you are and put your hands in the air. Where is the front door? Where is the front door? Wait, I wonder if my old emergency escape route is still here. Where did he go? He's nowhere to be found. I guess I don't live here in the future. My folks must have moved out when the neighborhood started growing. Oh, I love the cool cars. Would you look at that? The future. Clearly, these achievements must be my own. Good morning, number 12. Welcome to work. Uh, 
I just made it. Wow, I could have been in big, big trouble. Number 12? <laughs> yes, sir. You were almost late this morning. <laughs> Report to my office immediately. <laughs> You're expected. again. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Such a pity. There are two types of people in this world, number 12. There are those who struggle to support their families. Scratching and scraping for any little morsel of food oh, they can find. Then there's the strong, the powerful, the elite, with luxuries that others can't possibly dream of. But you, number 12, are neither. Curiosity. Did you become a wimp overnight, or was it a gradual process? Oh, I've always been like this. Wrong! I have yet to be beaten by that oversized head of a man, but you, you cower at the sound of his voice. Type A! See? You really have ruined everything I have worked for having to you. I don't know who you are, but please leave. You don't know who I am? You don't know who I am? I travel through space and time to see you, and you can't even recognize your own flesh and blood? What? Yes, I am you. But it can't be. Can it? Typing! I'm sorry, I wish I could talk, but I'm very, very busy. What possibly could you do here that is more important than talking to yourself? I hope you know that what I do here is very important. I design these cubicles. I cannot believe this. Robots from the future come back in time to destroy. 
fly me because I saved the future. And then I travel in time to see how cool I am saving the future. And here I find you. A pitiful excuse of a Dexter. <gasps> <clears throat> The Neuroatomic Protocoler? Hello, what are these? Designed to utilize neuroatomics and unlimited power producing a dialogue? Teletronic matter manipulation? Centralized neuroatomic information distribution? These ideas are incredible! No, no, those are nothing. You should see the new cubicle design I did. Ten by ten. Yeah, so I increased the cubicle space by one foot. Are you crazy? These plants can revolutionize the future. You are a real Dexter after all. Stop the typing. Stop the typing. Stop the typing! You are not a worker drone, my friend. You are not just a number. You are a genius! And you have got a name. What is your name? Twelve? No! What is your name? Twelve? No! What is your name? its original order. Uh -uh, that is strange. I forgot mm -hmm. how much I ate time travel. <laughs> it seems that we're surrounded by a very mm -hmm. large pain. Mm -hmm. I'll say. Not 
pretty funny. <laughs> I wonder what it was that Mandar glossed his head over. Oh, I heard that too. Oh, I'm warning you. What are you going to do? Think something bad? Why, you? Come here and I'll teach you a lesson. You'll see I'll get back on my feet and destroy you yet, Dexter. <laughs> what is all the ruckus in here? Who is causing all this? Oh, my gracious. Oh, oh, who could have done this? Who would want to destroy the homage to our all-knowing and omnipotent leader, Dexter? I would. Oh, my gracious, it's you. It's both of you. All hail the great and powerful Dexters. Prove at the last. Young Ned, sister's exaltation at once, and such as your most elegant coach. We require passage to see our future self, the great and the powerful Dexter. Yes, yes, your grace. Of course, right away. Thought transference commencing in three, two, one. Amazing! What is this? It's a teletronically manifested bubble transport. Teletronically manifested? Yes, one merely has to think of something, and poof, the matter is teletronically manifested. Where does this new science come from? Why, you, of course. That is, the future you. See, I told you your ideas were genius. Dexter's past. Welcome to your future. Welcome to Dextopia. Thanks to your marvelous invention of the Neurotomic Protocor, all of your knowledge of science and technology is dispersed freely from your brain and into the brains of every inhabitant wearing the transference receptor, in turn causing universal wisdom, peace, and harmony. See, I told you! We're here! Neurotomic Information and Power Distribution Pylon. Oh, isn't it fab? Well, this is as far as I go. The great one isn't for the likes of my lowly eyes. <laughs> Good luck. It is just like in the blueprints. And yeah, the Neurotomic Protocol is at the heart of it all. And we must be at the top of running the whole show. <laughs> I did not think it could happen, but I am more of a genius than I already am. Shall we? Oh, there's the start the great and powerful Dex Star. Whilst he dropping science upon the world. We are the Dex Stars of the past. We have come from the past to find out how we save the future. You're all. Yes! 
One man with the strength, the technology, the rugged, the good looks. And that man is... Yes, 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 us! Yes, yes, yes! Do you remember? No! Clearly, there is only one thing left to do. We must again travel in time, back to the very time of our triumph, back to see firsthand just how cool we really are! Yes! Oh boy, oh boy, I can hardly wait to see how cool I was! Come on, hurry up! Time's wasted! Let's go! This is going to be great! He's not coming. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't you think you could move a bit faster? Wait, I think I can. Here we go. Okay, all right, I'm almost there. I got it now. I'm in. I'm in. Thanks, Billy. Some of us are still on the bar. Dear <laughs> Cramps, Penthouse, Chop Chop! Elevator up! Sergeant Small, underwear, underwear, now there! <sighs> oh, what happened to the world this time? It looks like a bar. Does any of this ring a bell with you? Ding dong! Nope. Hey, people! Let's check it out. Geronimo! <laughs> Come on, now let's see if any of these villagers can tell us what is going on. Pardon me, my good man, but what is thou nowhere? And more importantly, when we are today? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> good gravy, has everyone around there lost their minds? Fire come out of wood. Okay, step back, watch closely.
what would be cool in the future? Did you see those moves? That wing. That's a brawn. That beard. A dome. <laughs> hey, yeah. What, what happened? Dexter, 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 Dexter
It seems my old nemesis has not only mysteriously resurfaced, but has also found a way to enlist the aid of himself from other time. No matter. Let them come. I have a few surprises of my own. <laughs> And Box Castle is just over the next ridge. This is it, Daxters. We're going in. Quite a reunion, but... Reunion, schmunion, I want my neuroatomic protocol, you gluttonous old hack! Oh, yeah, yeah. 
care of Didi? It looks like the future is back on track. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do, but with the positive flow of the core, everything should work out fine. Well, then, we should be getting back to our own times. Goodbye, Dexter. 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 Goodbye, Billy. Well, that wasn't exactly what I expected, but I did turn out pretty cool in the future. Wait a minute. I'm still here fighting those robots, but wait. Those are the robots I just built to get busy or real build in the future. But now I'm about to destroy them before I even decide to go into the future. So that means when I came back, I came back to far back before I ever left. So I must have come nine, or they were... Oh, forget it. Time travel hurts on my brain. Thank you.